Okay guys, it's time for another one of these Habs news update thingy with Jiggies, and in today's Jiggy, we're gonna talk about the future of Sean Monaghan, we'll take a look at some tidbits from the Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon press conference, and much, much more. But first, after finishing his season with the Montreal Canadiens, Samuel Manzenball, he's not ready to drop Hoagie just yet. Pfft, no. Our boy is now going to join Team Canada. Yes, yes, he's going to be the team's goaltender at the World Championship Tournament. And wow, isn't that something? So good for him. I hope he goes on to have a good tournament and just a good experience in general. Moving on now, as you're all aware, with the season coming to an end, there's been injured Habs players just crawling out of the woodwork over the past couple of days. <sighs> Guys like Monaghan, Druin, and even Paul Byron have all spoken with the media lately, and each and every one of them all seem to be pretty optimistic about their future. Sean Monaghan, for example, he says he really wants to come back to Montreal and get a load of this... Every time he steps out onto the ice at the Bell Center, he gets chills. Now, that's pretty cool, but you know what, Monaghan? I kind of got chills when he stepped out onto the ice, too, because I was afraid he was going to get hurt. <laughs> Look, no offense to Monaghan, okay? I like the guy. But unless it's a super cheap, short-term contract, I'd be very careful signing him to a new deal. Just saying. Yeah, it sounds nice. But there's also a lot of options. As for Jonathan Drouin, now he seems a bit more realistic about his current situation. He knows what's up. He's likely at his end of the road in Montreal. And Drouin himself would even admit to the media that the game against the Bruins the other night was a bit of a different feeling for him. Due to all of the uncertainty. He did claim that he wants to be a part of the team's future. But uh, again, the reality is... Just like the neighbor's cat that snuck into the house. He got in once, we fed him, he scratched up the couch. But he's probably not getting back in a second time, is he? Now as for Pa Byron, keep an eye on this one because he's been actively trying to get a new role with the Habs organization. He would confirm yesterday that nothing's really been set in stone yet. But don't be too shocked if Jeff Gordon does find a position for him. And other than that, from the players, we got a bit of the same old, same old. All right, Josh Anderson shot up some reporters that were bringing up trade rumors to him again. That was pretty cool. Then we found out Brendan Gallagher broke a bone in his ankle from blocking a shot in like game number 12 this season. He kept playing on it, broke his ankle again. And my God, this guy must be held together by duct tape at this point. Jeez. But now that we got some of these player stories out of the way, let's move on to some news from the management themselves. The big guys, Pinky and the Brain. And first, man, I gotta say, these guys, they're really intelligent, okay? I really liked every answer that they gave yesterday. They definitely seem concerned about all the injuries over the past couple of seasons, but most importantly, they do seem like they're trying to handle this rebound the right way. Okay, and here's one of my favorite answers yesterday, straight from Gorton's lips to your ears. Let's see what he had to say. Quote, I don't like to put timetables on something. We're trying to build this thing the right way. I would say to you that if we just take shortcuts, if we did a few things just to get a little better, just to make it into the playoffs, I don't think that's going about it the right way. I think building, developing, and letting it happen a little bit organically and through our process is the way to go. I believe in that, and we all believe in that. There's not a blueprint that works the same for everybody. The timelines change. Take Kirby Doc, for instance. We acquired a player with a lot of talent. We hoped that he would be a good player, and I think he's proved that he's a very capable NHL player with huge upside. Those are the kind of deals we want to move forward trying to make, to move this thing along, and to build a good team that's going to sustain itself for a long time. A team that can win and compete to win all the time. That is what we're trying to do. Yeah, round of applause for Gordon. That was awesome. That's beautiful. They got a program, and they're going to stick to the program, guys. And I love it. But anyway, that does it for this Habs News Update. Let me know your thoughts on all this information that was revealed just yesterday. Please, please, please don't forget to poke the like button in the eyes on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.